We are beginning tonight with the latest returns released late this afternoon in the still undecided race for Monterey County Sheriff. So here are the latest numbers. Challenger Steve Bernal extending his lead over incumbent Sheriff Scott Miller. Bernal now has a lead of 1,850 votes, better than three percentage points above the now sheriff. But more than 13,000 votes still need to be counted, so nothing is official yet. But clearly, some in the media are surprised with how the results are trending. Action News reporter Felix Cortez explains in tonight's Top story. Well, Aaron, ever since the first results came out showing the incumbent Sheriff Scott Miller losing this race, local media have been pulling no punches, taking shots at the likely sheriff-elect Steve Bernal and the voters themselves. This is one election even members of the media admit they got wrong. Well, I predicted, uh, my enterprise, the Monterey Bay Partisan, predicted 60 to 40 for, for Scott Miller, and several people said they thought uh, we were wrong, that it was going to be a much, uh, much larger vic uh, margin of victory for Scott. So, no, I was, uh, we were all kind of pretty much shocked. I actually thought I had dys dyslexia had set in or something when I looked at the uh, results on, on uh, late Tuesday night. Because I was, of course, it was expecting Scott to win. Surprise, shock, and it spilled into the headlines and commentaries. A blind man would have picked Miller and twice again on Sunday for crying out loud, said political columnist Jeff Mitchell. For Monterey County, this is going to be a disaster, said Mary Duan from the Coast Weekly. A deputy devoid of any management experience, we admit scratching our heads over this result wrote the Monterey Herald. Bernal, a 15-year deputy with the Sheriff's Department with no track record to speak of, now on track to unseat his seasoned and well-experienced boss, Sheriff Scott Miller. Jeff Mitchell with the Californian is already writing the next day's column. We were looking at uh, basically what you needed to qualify to, uh, to run for sheriff, and that's going to be in our column tomorrow. And uh, basically, uh, you have to go through the police academy and you have to have uh, a number of years on the job, which Steve does. And the hits continue. Royal Calkins of the Monterey Bay Partisan writes, Bernal said during his campaign that he would eliminate internal affairs investigations except in cases of likely criminal wrongdoing. What about cases of incompetence or dereliction of duty? had to be the biggest surprise we've seen in election results in Monterey County in a long time. So what happened? Why the surprise upset as it appears to be? One explanation, Sheriff Miller did little advertising, likely assuming voters wouldn't vote for the underqualified Bernal. But Bernal had big money behind him, half a million dollars in his war chest. Uh, you know, it's, uh, he, I think he did buy the election using family money and uh, you know, kind of big ag money. He, he, uh, he did buy the election, and it's, um, it's, it's unfortunate. Yes, he spent more, but it wasn't that much more. And so I, that doesn't ring true to me as an explanation, but I don't have one to offer that does. Now, we should note that it's very important to note that this election has yet to be called despite uh, today's uh, another round of returns. But with Bernal holding a 3.5% uh, lead and roughly 13,000 votes yet to be counted, uh, Scott Miller will have to get no less, no less than two-thirds of the remaining votes, nearly 9,000 votes, if he wants to remain in office. Dan, Aaron. All right, Felix, uh, thank you. Action News did reach out to Bernal for comment on today's updated returns. We were told that he will not be available until tomorrow. His campaign did release a press release thanking supporters, adding that tonight Bernal is in Santa Maria watching his son play football for Templeton High School, which is in San Luis Obispo County. Another race that was too close to call, Monterey City Council. Newcomer Ed Smith still comfortably ahead for one of the two seats at stake. Timothy Barrett has surged into the second position and has a 101-vote lead over incumbent Nancy Selfridge, who has held that seat since 2006. Keep tabs on the newly released returns for all the races on the Central Coast. Use your computer or mobile device. Go to the politics section of our website at ksbw.com.